just talk about the excitement of coming back year two with Coach Simon Eddie. You know, year three, three or four for you guys. Entirely here, just what it means to be able to get back on the pitch. Okay, um, it's super exciting. It's um, we had a good spring, I think. So we're coming off just a huge bunch of momentum. Um, took a break. Everyone was doing their individual work over the summer, and I think we're ready to get back out there and win some more games. Like she said, we built a good foundation in the spring, and we have a lot of new talent coming in. Uh, so we can only go up from here. It's going to be really exciting. You just talked about the new talent to come in. What have you guys kind of seen so far, whether it's been in the brief practices this week or in the training for captain's practices over the summer? What has it meant to you guys' teams, and what's it going to mean on the field? Well, like our head coach has been saying, we're already eons uh, from where we were last year. Uh, with the new talent, you know, we're connecting, uh, especially in the front. That's that's a big change, and we're, we're, we're going to score some goals this year. So... <laughs> Um, we added some very good players in the back, too. I think our defense is going to be a lot stronger. Um, and the freshmen are just athletic. They're super skillful. And a lot of them honestly killed it on the beep test. Fitness is great, so it's very exciting. I follow you on social media, and it seems like the team bonding and hiking was fun. How do you feel like these activities prepared you guys for this season? Um, just getting us closer together, I guess. It was a little nerve wracking, I will admit, coming into like 30 girls instead of like our normal 18. But I think putting us in the house for like three days made everyone closer. We were sharing three bathrooms, so <laughs> we had to learn how to share. <laughs> so It's always an experience. And um, it kind of helps get all the nervous jitters out just before we come in and actually start playing. Uh, you build that you know, that personal connection before you build that teammate connection, which I think is really important. Okay, you, your season is going to be starting prior to the first day of classes. How do you prepare mentally, um, knowing that you're going to play a lot of games before you even go into the classroom? How do you get your mind right to um, start your studies? And obviously your program has done very well academically over the years. Yeah, so I think it actually gives us an advantage because we're able to focus on the soccer aspect and, you know, building our team identity before we get into classes and whatnot. Um, and so it's it's that single focus that allows us to, you know, once we do get into school, we're able to balance those kinds of things because we already have the basis of what we're going to accomplish that season. Like she said, we have that single focus ahead of time. And then obviously we have a bunch of great resources if we need them. We have the jar that we can go in, all of our tutors, um, stuff like that. People are willing to help. So it makes the transition really easy. Talk about the uh, off season kind of conditioning that you guys had to go through, that you went through through Coach's program um, in the summer to get you guys ready for the fall? Um, so obviously we had a fitness packet that was <laughs> day to, by day, a um, couple days off here and there, but um, they were challenging workouts. It was hard, but it's going to help prepare us for the season. A lot of us also played with teams over the summer, so we were keeping game fit rather than just going out there and running. Yeah, something that Coach Simonetti likes to emphasize is that, you know, she's always going to make things harder than the actual the actual situation that we're going to be in. So uh, she's going to make the workouts harder than what it should be just to push ourselves. And so that when we actually get to the fitness test or we get into games, like it's like, hey, this isn't as bad as, you know, what we were doing in practice the other day. So what are your uh, goals for the season? What, what, what are you guys looking forward to this season? And a uh, part two to this question, what does Akron soccer mean to you guys? Um, obviously, the biggest goal is to win a MAC championship, but that starts with winning some games and qualifying for tournament. Um, I think the biggest goal right now is just qualifying for tournament. And Akron soccer means to me community, family. I think um, we have a great program that brings people. They want to watch us. Everyone's like a small family, like I said. And so I think it's just a great atmosphere. Yeah, so we have a couple big games right out the jump, the beginning of our max season, and we're really excited to, you know, show our new team, show what we can do this year, because um, we can definitely do some damage, and uh, we're looking forward to that, especially with the community piece. You know, we obviously we want to build that, uh, build that con community connection, um, 
and that's really important to me personally because the more the community is integrated into our program, you know, the more support, you know, the better the games, you know, the better atmosphere, which is good for building a MAC championship team. You both are wearing the captain armbands. Can you talk about how you guys deserved, earned those those bands on your arms? Um, well, I'll speak about Katie for <laughs> Katie is an amazing leader for our program. She's the voice of our team. Um, if you come to any game, you'll hear her. She's the first person you're always going to hear. Um, she is the tougher one on everyone, and I think that's something that this team needs. She will be there just to put a, set the standard. I think we both do set the standard, but that's her job most of the time. Yeah. So besides Bailey and I, we also have Pence and Clara. Um, speak a little on Morgan Pence. She's she's very uh, personable. She's always, you know, up and excited, ready to go, that kind of thing. Clara, she helps a lot with our social media and she's super, super supportive. You know, she's that shoulder to lean on. Uh, we love her. And Bailey, she's the, she's the lead by example. She's always going to do the dirty work. She it doesn't matter what it is. She's going to be there. She's going to get, get into tackles. She's going to, you know, all that. So, we, um, it was it was a tough spring, uh, good spring, but it was a tough spring, and um, we all kind of fell into these leadership roles, uh, voted by the team, um, and we were really excited to get started. There are four of us, which seems like a lot, but we all bring something unique to the table. Different, yeah.